Hey friends, greetings from Indonesia. Here at the moment where we're setting up a base of operations. In a couple days I was scheduled to fly back to Israel um, and woke up to the news today of the events unfolding in Israel and my heart is grieving for the nation of Israel today and I know many of you guys who track with us are as well. I've been getting bombarded with messages from around the world of people asking what's happening and how they can get involved, how they can pray. And so I want to do a quick video. We're going to follow up in the days ahead with more. Uh, in a couple hours, Marco Moreno, Director of Operations in Israel, is going to give an analysis on today's events. I'm not going to go too deep into the analysis of it. Um, it's all over social media. You can track with the events of it. But the basics are this. This morning, Hamas launched an operation in the south of Israel, infiltrated Israel's southern border, um, began to wreak uh, barbaric havoc in communities in the south of Israel, which they occupied, uh, then carried out house-to-house -house, uh, ISIS-style uh, killings and slaughter. It's barbaric. Um, the numbers are not in yet. They're going to be climbing both the death toll and of uh, those injured and those uh, kidnapped and abducted. Um, we're talking about soldiers and civilians. We're talking about the elderly, women and children, mothers with their children. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, Hamas calls it war. This is not war. This is uh, more like tribal barbarism. This is not war. This is something else. This is jihad. This is barbaric, tribal. This is not war. This is a disgusting, horrific act of barbarism. Uh, the footage is brutal and gruesome. I would uh, actually encourage you to go watch it to see the gravity of it. Um, it's disgusting. The footage is horrific, but I, I would encourage you not to turn a blind eye to it because this is the reality. And I think the world is sleeping uh, and not aware of the gravity of what's boiling in the Middle East and around Israel's borders. Um, Again, the details of this thing, I'm not going to go too deep into it right now, but the details uh, and the, the numbers are going to begin to come in over the next few days, but it's, it's very, very bad. There's active combat and fighting inside Israel, Israel proper right now. There's still uh, Hamas operatives engaged in firefights on the streets of civilian centers. Um, a friend of mine in the south of Israel, in the community right on the border, um, shared with us today that 10 of his neighbors were killed and that Hamas is occupying uh, their neighborhood. Um, we're, in, we're in the middle of production on a film right now. Many of our uh, actors and cast and crew are Israelis. A number of them are, have been called into active duty as reservists. Um, we're very much feeling the uh, closeness right, right now with me is uh, is some Israeli cast who are connected to people who've been killed in the fighting, whose kids have been, who know people who've been missing. It's very, it's very real, it's a very heavy day, and it's very, um, everyone is affected in Israel by this. Everyone's connected. Uh, so all the details are going to come out in the next few days. What I wanted to communicate to you guys, to the FAI family, for those of you who are asking how can we get involved, we're going to put a link below. We're just going to raise a ton of money and we're going to engage in the most meaningful ways that we can. FAI is very good at this and this is what we're going to do. We're going to get involved. So we're going to put a link below. Right now we're assessing the situation and what we can do. The last round of fighting in Gaza, we evacuated tons of families and brought them up to the north and put them up in hotel rooms and took care of them and rolled out a red carpet for them. And uh, I don't know if we're going to be, be able to do that this time because if things kick off in the north, um, there's, you're basically going from one cauldron of fighting to another. And that's the big uh, question right now, if things will kick off in the north or not. So pray for that. If Hezbollah throws down, it's going to be very, very bad in the north. So if the Israeli Defense Force can contain things in the south and then engage in Gaza in a very decisive way and put this thing to rest quickly, uh, it's going to be best for all parties, um, but it, it's going to be very. This is going to be a heavy, heavy military campaign to deal with the bat, the aftermath of what happened today. There's no way that Israel can come out of this and not uh, engage on the ground. This is going to have to be a heavy, heavy military operation. 
So right now, for those of you who are asking how can we pray, that's how you can pray that the North does not get sucked into this thing. If you want to give, there's going to be a link below, and we're going to put all of that resource to work on the ground in the wake of this thing. And there's, going to, there's a lot of carnage, and there's a lot of ways uh, that we can show up and serve, stand with Israel during this time. Um, the details... I'm going to leave for now. Marco will give you an analysis later today, tonight, and uh, we'll give you updates and briefings as uh, the days go on. This will take time. This isn't going to be over in a day or two. It's going to be a sustained um, region-shifting, reality-changing uh, day. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, click on the link below to give.